Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living or return with having. In order to build my life, I was a business consultant, a marketing strategist, and actually a advertising or publicity trainer. When you say these things to people, they mostly don't know what the hell that means. You see, every human being in America has a professional image and a personal brand. A professional image knows what to do with you on the internet and in public how to market you and how to produce your events so that you stay remain incredibly in control of not only the people in the audience but in their reactions you see when you're writing your script when you're writing your speech you're writing for the audience you're also trying to make sure you're not give, just giving them common sense where they'll take a snooze and go well that was worse and that wasn't worth it for my money you always have to under promise and over deliver you always have to highlight with the story that makes sense to the heart soul and mind of the soul strings in the audience and the thing about being a trained professional and writer that is authentic as I listen very carefully to you and your story and then I try to help you figure out what's the bar that you need to share and how do you share it as efficiently and effectively and as easily as possible so that people remember it but God is glorified you see there's a light that's shining down upon you from the Lord if you choose to step into it but you can always step out of the light of the Lord and play in the shadows you can always bask in the dark but when you bask in the dark you rarely let your light shine and the value of your light is to take that beautiful light that the Lord puts through you no matter who you are and let it shine on other people and in doing so you might just get a little reflection back at you that the Lord will be pleased with you see life is not what you think it is love is rarely what you believe it is and openly an open heart to hear the rebuke of the Lord is really something else today it's hard to be a prophet and it's hard to be someone who can read other people really well. It's hard to give these people surprises of how the hell did he know that? It's like, well, I don't. The Lord does. And that's what's marvelous. But then at the same time, it's very humbling to be willing to acknowledge in those moments that God is really speaking through a human being to let you know that he sees you, to let you know that he feels you, to let you know that he knows you, to let you know that he is wanting to have you glow for him. But openly, the choice to glow the choice to be the light, the choice to light someone up like a Christmas tree, the choice to, to surrender your might to a man who's in love with God is something else. To surrender to someone is really important. We talk about surrender in intimate relationships, but surrender is not giving up your will. Surrender is saying, I will always love you still. And openly, surrendering is what the Lord gives us as an opportunity. Then I just surrender to our love interests, and our lovers and our partners but to surrender on occasion to our children so that they can lead and then we take over again as the parent you see there's a lot of opportunities to surrender and there's so many people in America that refuse to surrender their hearts their minds and their souls to the Lord and as a result they don't get the same level of magic they could if they just do that art I'm looking for my clothes today I'm looking for my property today I'm looking for my antiques from Japan I'm looking for my marvelous rings that I once owned and yet the marvelous police officers in my state decided not to return one fucking thing to me, including my fully paid for automobile. And siblings didn't want to help me get it out of that impound because if they did that, then I might go on in life. I might move away and continue my journey with God. But openly, they don't want to do that because they're not in God's house. They're not going to church. They're not reading their Bible. They're not professing the Lord's name. They refuse to learn their faith, Bob. And they just don't like to do it because they're frightened of Holy Ghost. And the sad thing is that everything that's been promised to us is very clearly written in any version of a Bible, even a Greek one, possibly a Chinese one. But the reality is, if you're really willing to hear the Lord, the Lord is saying to you, don't dismiss this little person just because of where they are right now. Look at where they were in the past and expect where they can go in the future. But the biggest question that you fail to ask people who are calling you for help is quite simple. How may I help you today? What within my time, my resources, or my social networks might be able to help you get on your way? And when you're willing to do that, then you really have surrendered yourself to God. And if you're driving by and you're someone in the soul of your group, meaning your soul group or your internal spirit says to you, help them, then you say, how, Lord, how do I help them? If they say, well, give this much, then you try to give that much because when you give what the Lord tells you, then the Lord will bless it to you and return it to you in marvelous measure.
But when you get skimpy and when you don't do what the Lord asks you to do or when you fail to do what your job has asked you to do, that's on you. And openly, there's a lot of people that could help you totally shine and rise, but I bet you they're not the ones that are right next to you in Hollywood. I bet those people don't care whether you rise or not because they're not going to rise unless you rise in their mind, but that's not true. They can monkey you so that you don't rise and that they rise instead of you. There's lots of ways to rise in front of people. And the only difference is what is the quality and level of lifestyle you want? What is the level of authenticity and credibility and transparency you want? And where are you really putting your measure? Are you going to be a model? Are you going to be a fashion designer? Are you going to be a photographer? Are you going to be a surfer? Are you going to be a skier? Are you going to be a daredevil when you're standing on top of buildings like an asshole? Are you going to be jumping out of airplanes? Or And that's marvelous because you really are taking that life an adventure. But the only other question is, is it a foolish risk? Are you taking foolish risks or are you taking real risks? And real risks are helping people who are at risk, who are being hurt by immoral people.